Hey y'all, it's Betsy and Mom from Happily Ever After, etc. And we are in wetsuits. And this great barrier reef. So this is a cruise video. Today we are in Carnes. Cairns. Cairns. I don't know how to say it. And we are swimming in the Great Barrier Reef. We're going to be snorkeling. You can see it behind us. Oh my gosh, these suits are good. You have to wear a wetsuit. They're they're tight. That's the point of a wetsuit. Yep. Um, and we are doing the pontoon Great Barrier Reef yeah, Great Barrier excursion. Reef Dork, pontoon. There's lots of different things you can do here. You can go snorkeling. They have scuba diving. That they even, have a submersible. Yeah, even if you're not uh, certified, they it's kind of like tandem scuba diving. They have a certified person that goes with you. They have an underwater viewing area if you don't want to get in the water. And they had a submersible like submarine you could go down in. Lots of things. There's a lot of people. So we're going to go get in. I'm not going to be able to probably film, but hopefully I will be able to insert some pictures uh, and we will show you what it looks like. We're pretty excited. There's Betty at the Great Barrier Reef snorkeling. <laughs> there she goes.
Look, there's mom snorkeling. There she is. <laughs> oh, it's starting to rain hard. She's almost back. Here's the platform she's got to make it to. I made it back a little earlier, so I figured I'd get a picture of her in the water. It's okay. The entire area is enclosed with this uh, just rope and, and bobber so you know where to stop and turn about. And if you go all the way over to the far right, that is where the reef is closest instead of several hundred, well not hundred, instead of several feet down, you know, far below your feet, it's right there at your face. And it's, you know, that's where we saw the openings down to the eels and the bigger fish. A turtle or a shark, but the more marine life. Now there is kind of a current, even though it doesn't look like it, it looks pretty calm. So it was just more swimming, direct swimming to get back. It was worth it, y'all. It was so worth it. Whew. This terminal is huge. Walk to get in, long work to get back. Head back to the ship though. All right, y'all. It was a very long day. And we got back. We literally had about Not 20 even. minutes, 10 minutes until dinner. So we. Not even. We were late. You took a shower. There was at least 10 minutes. I didn't take a shower. I just fluffed my hair. There was water involved. Regardless, <coughs> we. Uh, <coughs> our entire excursion of like 170 people got back a little late. So the ship left a little late. But we had 10, 20 minutes till we had to go to dinner. So you're, you're getting this review th the next day at night, as you can see outside the window. So yes. I really liked the Great Barrier Reef excursion. I think the snorkeling was a lot of fun. We talked to some other people who did a very, very similar excursion, different right. company, who said the water was cloudier the day before because we'd had 
some uh, rain. Some rain the day before, and so at least we had a very clear day. We were able to yes. see a lot. We saw some a giant moray eel. Oh, eel. Yeah, that thing was huge. It was literally almost as big as a person head. It was as big as her head. Yes, I'm telling you. Well, his head was as big as my head. Yes, it was big. Um, and then we saw clownfish and parrotfish, and at one fish. point the giant ugly fish by the dock. I don't know what the kind they were, but they were like the size of a beagle. The lifeguards on the platform were throwing chicken into the water and they were throwing it right in front of snorkelers who did not know they were doing it. So he threw it right in front of me and the fish came right at me. I thought it was going to eat me. <laughs> some people, not me, but some people did scream, which I would have screamed had I not been wearing a snorkel. That's true. <laughs> <Mouth> was full. <laughs> I was busy <laughs> breathing. <laughs> But it was a lot of fun. I liked and disliked, I guess, that it wasn't an inexpensive excursion. It was our most expensive oh, excursion. Incredibly expensive. <laughs> and it included, you know, the transport there. It included lunch. It included uh, coffee and tea. And, yes. and coffee, tea. Yes, water. Cake. Cake. Um, lunch. And included snorkel gears and the wetsuits, which I didn't. Yes. I, I thought the wetsuits... I didn't understand why we needed them, but I guess we found out throughout the day yes. that it's because there's often a lot of jellyfish out in the yes. reef. So you have to wear a wetsuit to be safe from the jellyfish. Good. And they did have quite a few sizes. The lady said that they had sizes all the way up to 8X. But then I know a friend of mine who was there that we met on the excursion tried a 4X and that was about the biggest size they could find. So the the actual 8X, they may not have had a lot of those sizes. They may have already given it they out. They may have already given it out. So yeah. another one of our friends. There are some big boys. There. She actually bought and brought a wetsuit because she was afraid they wouldn't have her size. So if you are a larger size, they do have them. Whether you're the first one off and you get one or not is a risk you take. They had plenty of the two X's that I tried. <clears throat> they gave mom like a medium or a large or something large. that was quite. It, it was <laughs> fun getting it up my leg. It difficult to put on. Miss Twisty Pants. So. Yes. But what I was going to say is that while it does include a lot, there's a lot that they offer that's not included. Like right. if you want to do the snooba do little machines that go yes. down. If you want to do the submarine. Submersible. submersible that's mm -hmm. not included. Um, we had a friend who did the scuba diving. He said that was more He said expensive. that was 179 You don't have to be certified. You go down kind of tandem with a certified instructor. Yes. But it was 30 minutes for 179 If you're not scuba uh, certified, scuba diving on the Great Barrier Reef is, for many people, a bucket list, once-in-a-lifetime experience. That's not a bad price, mm -hmm. but it's a lot extra on top of the six-ish hundred you've already spent right. on the excursion. So keep in mind that those extra things and, and, really um, add up. GoPros and underwater cameras. Like, get it before you go. Yeah, I believe they said the GoPros were 80-something <coughs> dollars to rent. But we couldn't even find but we, it. They rent. didn't even have them available when we were there. He got one the day before for 80-something dollars. And he did say that he got to keep the SD card. So it's not like he's just getting the photos. Right. But you could very easily bring a GoPro or a disposable underwater camera yes. for a lot less than, yes. than that. So just mm -hmm. these are things to think about before you go. If you need a wetsuit, if you need an underwater camera, um, bring those with you. But I think it was worth it. Oh, we did see giant clams. Yes, the giant clams yes. were really cool. They Tell them cool. about those. The giant clams were huge. And they... I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> they We saw plenty of them, you know, <laughs> smaller ones, bigger ones. They were kind of purple, and they just kind of looked like rocks until you looked at them really carefully. And, and then, then you could see their you little could see them things like opening, opening and closing and breathing, and breathing like that they're not rocks. They are clams. So, yeah, so it's kind of cool. Where I wanted to see one of those. Yes. Mom really did. Well, because we saw pictures of them, and I wanted to see it. We did see a lot of fish, a lot of fish. Yes. And you were like swimming around and fish were swimming all around you and all. So that was kind of cool. Yes. And 
it was is not as hard as I thought it would be because I'm not a very strong swimmer, but we did have life preservers on, life jackets on. And the way they had you go down, you went down some stairs and then you sat on a platform and then you went into the water. I was really concerned, like I'd have to jump into the water. No, that wasn't happening. And if you have to jump, then you're going to have to climb out eventually. Yeah. But they, they had a, a nice platform system and they taught you how to <laughs> use the flippers if you've never used flippers before. And then they before. also had these um, square-like platforms almost pvc water. pipe yeah, platforms people, yeah that you could hold on to and that had um noodles on them and you could hold on to them. so you could just float in place if you didn't necessarily want to swim because the well, current was a lot harder it, it than looks we like it's would be. very flat and no current there's actually quite a bit of current so lots of current but it was fun would it you... took me forever to get back yeah i got back got first back and, and videoed mom coming back in yes would you do it again or would you look for a different I, excursion? I, I'm glad we did it because, um, you know, I'll never come back here. I don't think. Yeah. I doubt it. I doubt I will. I, I think it was worth it. Swimming, scuba diving, mm -hmm. snorkeling on the Great Barrier Reef was just, is definitely a bucket list activity. I mean, they say that you can see the Great Barrier Reef from space, which I thought oh, was really cool. It was pretty cool. cool. And it's the largest... Um, it's it's not single organism, but multi-organism thing in the Southern Hemisphere. Yeah. So I think it was well, worth it. Whether this specific excursion is the absolute best one out there, I couldn't say that. But I liked <laughs> it. I do like that since it was through Carnival, even though we were late getting back, the ship did wait yeah, for us. The ship will not leave you if you're on a Carnival excursion. We thought about going... Through a third party company since all of the Carnival Great Barrier Reef excursions were sold out. But luckily this one came back available and we were able to get it. So yeah. we had a good time. And if we ever do come back, we'll probably try something else. But for this trip, yeah. we were we were just glad to get to go. Yeah, really, really we were. Cause, <coughs> I mean, for months it was sold out. Yeah. And we were also very fortunate. We had a lot of onboard credit. Yes. When we were the last... I had booked this cruise in 2022 or 2020. I 2020. Think it was 2020. Because it was right when COVID was right when COVID shutting hit. everything so it down. So shut it down. And then Australia was one of the last um, company, not companies, countries, countries to, open to reopen up. to so, tourists. Um, we had our, our cruise was canceled again and they gave us like $900 onboard credit. So that. That's the perfect thing it. to use for an excursion is onboard credit. Cause, Which is why I think it was sold out. Because a lot of people on this cruise had onboard credit. Yep, a lot of people did. A lot so. more people than normal. Yep. But we're going to go ahead and go. <coughs> I can't have stop coughing. Cough. And we will see you in the next video. I think I think it was the salt water got in my yeah. lungs. Well, I definitely inhaled a little too much through my snorkel a couple times. I looked yeah. too far one way or the I other. I did too. And then the water <laughs> came in and I'm like. <laughs> I always am like, why don't they just make the snorkels longer? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.